The Data Mesh app is an advanced capability that keeps your data consistent and reliable by mapping your smart sheet data across sheets and reports. With Data Mesh, you can automatically copy cell values or create cell links between sheets based on specified lookup values, copy and add data to add new entries in the source and target sheets, reducing duplicative entry. Leverage reports as a source to look up against an aggregated set of data and more. To better understand what data mesh can be used for, let's take a look at an example use case of using data mesh to automatically populate customer information in an order sheet. Here is the order sheet. In this sheet, you will notice that we have order information for a list of customers. Internal teams submit the customer order requests using a smart sheet form. On the form, notice that we need to enter the customer's three-digit ID. No other identifying information about this customer is required. So how is customer information automatically being populated on the order sheet? This is where Data Mesh comes in. Data Mesh is being used to automatically bring customer data into our order sheet from this customer list sheet. Here on the customer list sheet, we can see the customer ID code, name, location, and contact information. Using the unique customer ID code, Data Mesh will search for matches between the two sheets. When a match is found, Data Mesh will copy the designated specific fields from this customer list sheet to the customer order sheet. So, how is this configured? Let's head to Data Mesh to find out. Inside a sheet, select the app launcher, and then select Data Mesh. In Data Mesh, we can start by selecting new config. First, we need to select the information source. This can be a row report or a sheet. In this case, the customer list sheet, which contains the important customer information, will be the source. Select the source sheet, then select Next. Now we must select the target sheet or sheets. We will select the customer order sheet, as this is where we want the data to go. Note that we can select up to five target sheets per configuration. Now that we have our target sheet, select Next. Now we can map the columns between the source and target sheet or sheets. The first field is the lookup value. This is the unique value that Data Mesh will search for and attempt to match between your source and target. In this case, we are using the customer ID on the source sheet and the account ID on the target. Note that the names of the columns do not have to match. Data Mesh will only look for matches in the cells within those columns. Now that the lookup values are set, select Next. Now we will configure how the data should be moved between the source and target. Overwrite existing data in target sheets will do just that. We will select Yes so that if the customer name or additional details are ever changed, they will be reflected in our target sheet. The Duplicates in Source Sheet dropdown will tell Data Mesh how to handle any duplicate lookup IDs it finds in the source sheet. Note that you can have it select the first match from top to bottom or ignore the entry and not write any data. We will select Pick First Match. Next, we set the data mapping format. This option controls whether you want the data to be actively synced with the cell link functionality from the source sheet or copied over. The copy and add data option copies over data and also add new rows to the target sheet when it cannot find a matching lookup ID. In this example, we want to copy the customer information from the customer info sheet only if we have an order for that customer. We will select copy data. Execution frequency allows us to schedule the frequency for updates of data mesh values. Note that the update immediately execution frequency isn't supported when using a report as your source. For this case, let's say that we need the data to update immediately. Lastly, we need to name our configuration. Let's name it Customer Information. Select Next. In this final menu, we are able to review all of the details we specified for the configuration. Since everything looks correct, select Add. Now we can see our new configuration in Data Mesh. Let's go back to our customer order form and submit a new request to test the data mesh configuration. We will fill out the form, making sure to use a valid three-digit customer ID number, and then select Submit. Here we can see that the new submission has appeared at the bottom of the sheet and that Data Mesh has already brought in the key customer information. Data Mesh configuration setup is complete. Are you ready to start using Data Mesh to eliminate typos, duplicative data entry, and unnecessary work? Check out the Data Mesh learning track to get started.